The next skill, butterfly hugs. For some of you, you're gonna be like, Stacey, you're crazy, I would never do this. For others of you, you've heard me say this a million times. We also call this tapping it out. You can get a lot of information about tapping through the EFT model if you type that in. There's a ton of information online. This skill, the butterfly hug, is really rooted in what we call EMDR, eye movement to for desensitization and reprocessing. Or as my colleague Anna Gomez says, eyes moving to digest and recover. So now that we understand that the body keeps the score, what we want to do is we really want to identify where our feelings live in our body. So when we have that strong feeling of emotion or we have that feeling of sadness, then we want to ask ourselves, what's the shape, the color, the size, the weight, and the smell? And if you see what I'm doing, you're seeing that I'm at, I'm really getting a concrete bottom of the brain sensory experience about the feeling. So when I was thinking about my dog dying when I was a little girl, I was recalling a whole big event that was really chaotic and filled with all sorts of feelings. It was hard to really narrow down one feeling, but what I could do is I could sink into that and I could be like, okay, where does little Stacy feel that experience in her body? Almost immediately, you will be able to feel it in your body if you give yourself permission to do this. Now, let me just say kids are much better at doing this than adults because adults have a cortex and we try to reason ourselves through this. We try to talk ourselves out of it. We try to tell ourselves we're crazy. Kids do not do that. Kids immediately know where they where that feeling is. And then we want to say, what's the shape? What's the color? What's the size? What's the weight? What's the smell? And once we know that, we want to do a butterfly hug or we want to tap. And so what you're going to do is you're going to say like, I have a, to yourself, you say, I have a red triangle in my stomach. Do you want to keep it or do you want to get rid of it? If you want to keep it, then you want to figure out how you're going to keep that red triangle in your body in a way that is safe for you. If you want to get rid of it, then you're really going to, you're going to tap until it lessens or until you get rid of it. Now, part of what we do in our culture is we spend so much time go, 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 that we never sit with our feelings. So we want to notice, we want to accept, and we want to feel. And then we want to let it go and release it. Now, as I'm telling you and teaching you how to do this, it doesn't sound like it works. But when you're in the moment and you're feeling a big feeling, you can go in the other room, you can take a break and you can go like this. And what you'll find is it provides immediate relief. And if you're working on all those things that are in your drawer, this is how we work through that. We tap through it. This is also a skill you can teach your kids. You can sit with them and you can say, where do you feel that in your body? Now, I will tell you, kids will feel like eyelash. It will be stored in their eyelash and it'll be lime green. Don't argue with them. Let them store it wherever they store it. The more you practice with it, the more it becomes easier to do. The other thing that happens is that sometimes kids come to us with pre-verbal trauma, which means they're not gonna have any words for how to express themselves. So what we wanna do is we wanna allow them to see if they can feel it in their body. I worked with a young lady who was pre-verbal. She was in her teens, she barely talks about anything. And this is all we did, where you feel that in your body. I have a black circle in my body. Okay, does it have a weight or a smell or a size? And it initially started with no, and then it started to grow. And once you get really in tune with your body, then what happens in your body is it becomes sort of like a warning sign. So now I have a mom I've worked with for a really long time and she'll say, I have a black spiky thing in my back. It came back, I know that's something I need to deal with. That is an indication that you've been really using this skill in a way that's very useful. So part of what happens in emotional development is we don't know how to feel. And we don't know how to get through the feeling. You can never skip over a feeling. You could never, I mean, we can push feelings down all the time, right? That's why we drink and smoke and exercise and emotionally eat and all the things, right? But if we just sit with our feelings and we tap through it, what we're doing is we're processing in that moment. Butterfly hugs.